Yes, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Bsideshow.net. How y'all doing out there? Hope everybody's good, man. Keep your hands where we can see them. We can see you guys. Put them on the keyboards. Yep. All right, man. <laughs> Keep them on the keyboards, you know. Hey, man. Thank you guys for tuning in, man. We don't care what you do. Just do your thing. Just tune in, man. Bsideshow.net. Yes. Hey, man, who we got in the building? Go ahead and introduce yourself, man. I go by Race. Coming out of 805 in Tura area. Nice, nice. Just here by myself tonight. Little mission, uh, though, huh? Just a little bit, yeah. I got off of work, and I was hit the 5. Well, 126 to the 5 to the 210. Yeah, when you so, when you yeah. say when, when you say <laughs> that's yeah, a lot of numbers right there. When you say 126, you go yeah, it's a mission. <laughs> yeah, 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 no shit, man. You know, you hear the normals, the tens, the two. You know, for those yeah. who don't know, I'm just normally like yeah, past six flags. Yeah, that's <laughs> oh shit, that's probably the best way to do it though. Seriously, yeah. Hey, actually, then you're out there by kind of like big lyric moved out that way, right? Big, uh, I yeah. think he moved way that, out that, there. He, lyric and Buck, they're all from down that way. He, but Lyric yeah, said he yeah. moved further away because he's like, fuck, I want to get away from everybody. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. He, it worked. Hey, but <laughs> <laughs> how's the scene out there, man? Where where you're at? Uh, it's pretty dead as far really? as like shows go. That's why I'm always out here in LA. Um, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, hey, Kobina, speak on it. Yeah. I'm all over it. Yeah, so. Because that was that was kind of the whole reason the EP was called The Traveling Man. It's just ah. most of the time I'm out of the area. 805, you know, people always think of like the Ono's, Roxy's, Loop Pack back then. To where like nowadays it's just kind of, it's hard to get shows. Well, that that's okay though. At least you're getting out there and, and doing stuff, man. And yeah. The traveling man, that's a good uh, the way to describe it. You're obviously traveling. Hey, what's yeah. up? With, what, what, what was Germany? What did you, you do over there, man? That was last April and it was pretty much just a friend of mine from Oxnard actually. He has a label. They had gone in 05, I think it was, and his main group was supposed to go rock the 10, an 10 year anniversary of the festival. They flaked like two weeks before leaving, so he hit me up asking if I would be willing to go. So the room and board was covered and everything. We got paid for the main event, which was like this huge festival. So it was really cool because we were the only ones from the U.S. Everyone else was from different parts of Europe. Oh, that, wow. That's dope, though, that you yeah. you were willing to jump on that opportunity because that shit, we talk about traveling, like, all the time. And, yeah, that's what you got to do, man. You got to get out it's there. It's not just move. dope. That's just smart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're taking that opportunity to go ahead and just, you know, go and do that thing. How that, was the crowd, man? It was pretty cool because the language barrier definitely was hard. I wasn't sure how that was going to go, but... As far as that, you know, body language makes up for a lot of it. And there was about 8,000 because it was an indoor skate park. And so it was just like, it looked like a huge airplane hangar kind of thing. They had like giant Sennheiser boards for the mics. They had crazy rigs for the video cameras. Everything. Sick, man. Yeah, that nice. would be, I mean, that would be dope just, just to go. I mean, because I got to travel more. That's for damn sure. It's well documented that I got to get out and get hey, the fuck you're out. Doing, you're doing good. You went about two blocks from the house, bro. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Yeah, dog. And I, and I, <laughs> He's getting there. He's You'll getting like, there. I only had to call a cab to get home. Hey, hey, cha <laughs> You'll change no, area codes. No, soon. really. Right. I just want to I, I wanna go steps. somewhere where and meet a chick that don't know like, I, I don't you. know what the fuck she's saying and she don't know what I'm saying that would be dope Rabbit just wants to meet any chick to be <laughs> honest dude that's just how that shit really goes with I this don't guy. care if she knows English she doesn't or give not. a fuck no. Hey, no. <laughs> no but I'm saying though I do want to travel and experience I mean besides like food and culture and all that like hey, the chicks that. What, did you get some beer over there man well I actually don't drink or do anything like cool like that, well, hey so. thanks for coming on the show appreciate yeah, it huh. man <laughs> alright I'll see you later no, but yeah, so it was, oh, it was right. definitely more about the food. and then So the, how was the, the food over there, though? How was the food over there? Man, it was crazy because we, we actually, the room and board was, was through like these people that they already knew from the last time they were out there. So it was like a family and they all they had rooms for each of us. And oh, it was, nice. It was myself and two people I had never met. So it was crazy. Sick. We met on the plane kind of thing. Like, wow, But it dope. was cool, you know, home cooked meals for like breakfast and lunch sometimes, depending on where we were going. And then as far as the dinners, like, in Germany, it was mostly more like actual like schnitzels. I'm thinking like wiener schnitzel, like, oh, if I don't want a yeah, hot dog. <laughs> and then like you get there and it's like, oh, shit, like this is a schnitzel. So it was cool. And this then, uh, a like, schnitzel. In, in, for uh, shizzle, this shit's so Yeah. Good. For shizzle, my schnitzel. And then, like, in, in France, I got to try a doner, and those are like kind of crazy too. You, wait, what? You got to try a what? It's called that a sounds kind of weird, bro. Yeah, well, this, the dude who had told me about it when he was there in 05, he's like, yeah, yeah. don't eat the Dooners because you'll be stuck. 
Really? But nah, I was good. I was good. So wow, I didn't have your problem. <laughs> <All right. laughs> what is it? Have uh, some it's, sprinkled it's, special it oregano in it? Or? Nah, it kind of reminded <laughs> me of like just a taquero kind of thing. But I guess, yeah. you know, it was out there in France. They just had the, the meat and they slice it up and do it all up. So France nice. was definitely cool because Germany was more countryside. And then right, right. the part of France, Strasbourg, where we were at, was more like what I expected from Europe. You know, like the architecture and the, the busy streets. Nice, but nice. That's, but just yeah. a do- that's a dope experience altogether, though, just to get out, man, for reals. You know, I, I really do I really do need to go places. Hey, Wacko, cut it out, man. You went to fucking Texas, dog. Act that's like, right. Acting like you went that all over the world that and ain't shit. shit, bro. <laughs> it's funny, man. No, like, we got, we that's got, what I'm saying. I know. That's all, that ain't shit, man. Let's go overseas. And we got, we got guests that actually got to travel the world. Like, we got Tiny up in here, man. This guy's all over the place and shit, too, as well, man. So Yeah, we, we, I guess we have to live through you. I was just gonna say that right now. <laughs> we just ask you questions. You know, we we lived through your How Instagram. Was like, so did the girls have hairy armpits? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but but anyways, uh, the project, man. Talk a little bit more about the project, traveling. Yeah, a man. traveling man. It was actually, I'd met some people in Switzerland. Uh, DJ Impact. I did Sanctuary with him, and that's a bonus track on the EP. But. Uh, these dudes were out in Croatia and a dude from Oxnard actually he had had me feature on one of their songs months went by I didn't hear anything about it so I was like alright whatever cool like maybe they're playing it out there maybe they're not and then a couple months later I got hit up by the executive producer that put together that tape and he had asked if I wanted to do a whole EP with them so it's a it's a crew called Spraulin Malejico Raps and what it is they have different producers different DJs different they have like videographers everything out there so we just kind of teamed up they shot me a bunch of different beats we went through the selection process and ended up putting it together nice so it sounds like you linked with a lot of good people and then there's young baka <laughs> no i'm just kidding man. that's the homie right there man we're, yeah, we're actually yeah. we do a lot of work with the homie but you're, you're gonna be doing some stuff with him too right you got a show yeah. coming up too may 3rd it's gonna be uh, down okay. at brew dog so i think the pre-sales are like 10 bucks or there's 15 at the door 18 and over events so Steal oh, a fake good. ID or something. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah. Come on. Get your paper route up and get some fucking... Get over there and buy them tickets pre-sale, man. Get over there. Who, who yeah. else is on the bill, man? I, I didn't... You know? Put me on a spot like that. No, no I, I, cause, um, I mean, I usually see... I mean, because Young Baca be throwing a gang of shit. And I'm actually trying to think who's on this one. Yeah, it's been a minute since I've done done a show with them. You know, I do I would do a lot like with Owen or like I did the Cypher Effect oh, the other Owen. week. Okay. Yeah, so it's... And then, uh, well, yeah, OG Husky, I was over there doing their show. What was that? That was barely yesterday. So, yeah. I like how you was thinking like it was like a week ago or something. Yeah. Like that. Oh, shit, that was These, yesterday. Sometimes it seems that way, though. Like, oh, fuck, I just did well, that yesterday. Yeah, well, originally oh, yeah. I was just supposed to come out Saturday to uh, Senior Fish to do a show. So I did that one. I hit up Daryl from Lehigh. He, I stayed at his spot in Venice Saturday night and then ended up just going out there yesterday. So it was kind of crazy. Everything just happened. It was a cool little weekend getaway. Yeah, that's dope. Didn't have that's to dope. drive all the way back to the 805. Yeah, saves the travel. Yeah. yeah. So so what's up with Lehigh, man? What's up? What's going on with them? How you working with them? I think uh, we had met actually at the Beat Swap meet. We knew each other on Instagram before that. A lot of people I meet on social media and then happen to come across them later in person. So we met on Instagram. He, we recognized each other at the Beat Swap meet about a year and a half ago. When I went to Germany, I had asked him, you know, because like, I really liked his work. This is a brand new one. I don't know if he put it out yet. It might be out, but... Uh, you got the exclusive shit. And hey, we got yeah, a couple yeah. of joints here, too, at the B-Side shop. He'll man. be coming by soon to, to actually hook you guys up with this. And okay. he has a baseball-style jacket, so it's kind of like one of those as well. But So, yeah, I told him, you know, like, I don't want I don't want any money. I don't want sponsorship. Just hook me up with a bunch of slaps. Give me, like, a T-shirt or something to rock. And I'll go out there and I'll slap for you while I'm in Germany. So we ended up getting that to work. And, you know, it was cool because he hooked me up with a lot more than I thought he was. And then from there, we just kept casual conversation. You know, I'm going to be at this show. He's going to be doing this event. And eventually, it just blossomed into a sponsorship. Yeah, he's, he's out there. They're out there making moves right now, man. A lot of people knowing about their gear. That they, Everybody says the same thing. They love the artwork. It's so, all original. That's yeah, what I'm big on, yeah, too. Yeah, that's like, what's really dope about it. Like I said, it is all original stuff, man. So it's really cool. Yeah, like I, I tend to tend to be kind of a dick when it comes to other, like... It's cool any other company, but if it's more like copy and paste, I really don't mess with them. I don't care if the shirt's free. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be rocking whatever I want to rock. That's right, man. Keep it like that, man. Gotta keep it OG, man. We'll, we'll be right back after this. We're gonna play a video real quick, man. We'll be right back. That's right. Race in the building. <laughs> 